Denver County school board members voted to take some books off of library shelves. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Marius Payton. And I'm Tracy Cornett. The vote happened just a few hours ago. Our Sharon Danqua spoke to parents about their thoughts on this decision. It doesn't come to as a surprise to me. Um, it's the times that we live in. Amber Council is talking about books being banned from Rutherford County School Libraries. I have four children, three of which are in public schools. I know that there's a lot of struggles with the curriculum that they are supposed to provide. It's why County School Board member Caleb Tidwell proposed seven books be removed from libraries over claims that the books contain explicit material in violation of state law prohibiting obscenities in schools. I think that some of the books that are wanting to be banned from some people, it's completely understandable. We want to shield and we want to protect our kids. But some say that children have the same First Amendment rights as everyone else. And the ACLU of Tennessee says it is just not acceptable to to ban books in this manner. Tidwell explained to other board members during Thursday's meeting that these books contain sexually explicit content and must be removed under state law. Now here we are debating on whether to keep sexually explicit content in here. While some parents and board members agreed, others believe they're fighting a losing battle. As let's be real, our kids are, they're hearing it anyway. Um, they're seeing it anyway. Whether you think your child is or isn't, they probably are. The majority of board members voted to remove six out of the seven books in question from school libraries. Skin and Bones was the only book kept. For WSMV4, I'm Sharon Denkwa. Now, the ACLU of Tennessee released a statement following the vote tonight. It says, quote, Rutherford County students will pay the price and be at a significant disadvantage compared to their peers across the state and the U.S. who have access to these materials and are developing the critical thinking skills needed for college and beyond. It goes on to say they will continue to push for a state where all students have the freedom to learn without bias.